Give you a very quick intro. My name is Dawn, and I'm originally from Manchester, the northwest of England. And for over 20 years, I've been living in the Netherlands, just outside of Amsterdam. And if you're an OG, welcome back, guys. I hope you had a good week. Um, so, uh, I think you would have seen some footage. Let me think what we've done today. Uh, we went to oh yeah, we went to Antoinette's at uh, Roman and Antoinette's to celebrate the twins and her eldest son Tristan's birthday. Um, prior to that, Lawrence and I had uh, popped to Helfdorp. There's a huge toy shop there. Um, we used to go there a lot when the kids were small and um, we've not been there for years and we were like overwhelmed. I, I forgot to film there, it's massive and um, we didn't know where to look. Anyway, um, we got the girls um, a Sylvanian family set each which was a big hit and we got Tristan aftershave which he liked because Joshua has the same one so I knew it would, I knew it would smell good uh, and then you would have so I think you would have seen our journey driving out to where they live um, and then coming back the the main highway that connects uh, where we live to where they live the A9 there was a 15 minute tailback so um, Lawrence said, well, we'll just take a drive, we'll go on the back roads and um, we stumbled across a beautiful windmill that dates back to, I think the 1700s, I don't know the exact date. Um, so I said, we'll just pull over and uh, let's, you know, film it. And then we realised that people were going in and out and it was a shop and it's a working windmill. Uh, Lawrence went up to the, through the windmill, which was free. Our local village has a windmill, but I think you've got to pay to go up it, which is fine, it goes to the upkeep. Um, so I don't know what the footage is that he's filmed, but he said it's very nice. He, had, he was up there quite a while. And um, uh, it's a flour mill. So we had a look round and they've got like, um, uh, like an old fashioned shop selling a lot of organic stuff. We bought some honey as well from... Um, uh, like lavender honey so the bees that they're harvested from would have been 
producing honey from the lavender bushings. So I don't know what that tastes like. Uh, and then anyway, we got home um, late afternoon and uh, the boys had put all the cushions back out on the sofa because the weather's going to be nice this weekend and the following all week, hopefully. And um, I said, oh, I'm going to go and lie in the sun. And before I knew it, I crashed out. And then an hour later, Lawrence woke me up. He said, dinner's ready. So I was really tired. Um, he made um, chicken pesto pasta, which was delicious. And then I don't know what plans we've got for the rest of the weekend. I don't know if we're doing something this evening. I'm tired, so I don't. I'm sort of happy to chill out, but um, I'll see what Lawrence wants to do. And hopefully, we might go out on the boat tomorrow and go for like a real good sail. I think so. Um, I keep you posted on that. And then for the rest, um, yeah, work. That's pretty much it. Oh, there's a massive wasp just flown in the window. Last night, so I am really allergic to mosquito bites. Like, they swell up like this big. Awful. Last night, we were sat on the sofa watching TV and something like itched my, my calf, at uh, my shin, sorry, on my right leg. And um, I thought, what's that? The, the lighting was very dim and it, it was like a fly or something. So I just swatted it off didn't think anything of, anything of it and then I felt something else again and I swatted the side of my my calf and I was like no it looked like a mosquito and then I gave it, it I'd sort of strummed it, it, it was on the floor so I squished it and it just all blood came out of it my blood and I've got like five bites on my leg uh instantly I had some um citrusine which is um like an uh, antihistamine uh, pill, like an allergy pill. So I popped one and it's done the trick and I bought some more this morning, they've run out. And uh, so far so good, I'm fine. I'm not having any kind of reaction to it, but I thought, oh no, here we go. Mosquito season is upon us. Ugh. And as you can imagine, with all this water around us, we have a lot of mosquitoes. Anyway, waffle, waffle, kettle's just boiled. I'm gonna make a coffee. Let our dinner digest and see what we want to do. So um, I will catch you again at some point during this week. too loud. Uh, the wind seems to have died down a little bit uh, but in case you're wondering 
uh, you would have seen some footage of Lawrence and I were heading out to Amsterdam, not for the whole day, but for a couple of hours. Uh, I think to sail uh, to the uh, the midpoint, uh, the border, it's a couple of hours. Sorry, I have to put my sunglasses on, it's really super bright. That noise you can hear, oops, it's the motorway behind you and we're currently sat in the sluice because the area that we live in is a different water level to Amsterdam and usually it's packed boat to boat to boat it's actually quite scary today it's pretty empty uh, you can't really notice the difference in the um, water level it's not like uh, you know one of those old English um, canal lots where you really see you know you rise up and down a few feet so anyway we're here now uh, and once the uh, gates behind us open then uh, we'll actually be sailing around Amsterdam so no plan just see where the day takes us and uh, it's a lovely day it's not too hot I mean the sun's out at the moment but it's a it's a very sort of cool breeze and overcast right I won't waffle too much in case there's too much wind in the background um, let's go exploring driving uh, in direct sunlight obviously it's the car vlog section segment I don't know what did we call it <laughs> um, it looks like uh, well it, it looks like <laughs> the ring it's not looks like the ring is open and I didn't know when I left this morning and I, I just put Google Maps on um, 
you know, just because each time it sends me a different way. And then, uh, oh, the traffic's bad. And then it said, uh, it was like 10 minutes quicker. And I was like, what? That's weird. And then um, I was well on the highway. And then um, I was like, oh my gosh, it's open. I didn't even realize. It just goes to show, hey, what autopilot does. Do you know, this, this, I've never experienced this in other countries. Normally in the UK, which is where I did most of my driving prior to moving here, um, when traffic slows down, there's a reason, like an accident or um, a breakdown. But here, traffic just randomly slows down for no reason. I think I've watched a documentary on it once. I'm really going into waffle mode now. And they were they was explaining that um, the way the, the Dutch drivers uh, drive uh, is they, they like these rings. Like in the UK, we have ring roads, I suppose, and probably other countries. But they drive very... Uh, close to the car in front it's very like when I f first moved here even now it still makes me a bit edgy I would class it as tailgating whereas it's perfectly normal here but because of that close proximity to the car in front uh, in busy traffic it creates a, a concertina effect and that's why so I do know uh, that's why um, you get these um, random stoppages or slowdowns uh, for no apparent reason. So yeah, I did just answer my own question. I mean, it's that. <laughs> um, it's pretty warm here already this morning. I, uh, the house was like an oven. Uh, I did leave with the cardigan on, but um, I had to take it off because it was melting. Needless to say, I hope you can hear me, I've got the AC on in the car, so it might be a bit noisy on camera. Um, but uh, I had to, I was absolutely roasting hot. I'm trying to think, when did I last film? I think, uh, oh, I think it would have been Sunday. Let me think. The arm on these sunglasses is irritating me. I think sun Sunday was the last time I spoke to you guys. Yes, it was. So, um, as you probably would have seen, Lawrence and I, uh, Sale time, stop for the day, which was so nice. I'm, I don't, I've got a deja vu that I might have told you this already. Um, I, I think I think I told you it was on the way, but anyway, we, so what we did, Lawrence, um, we had to go in the sluice. Now, I don't know if I'm if I explained it, but I think we had to, to go into Amsterdam, we had to rise about I don't know six inches say I don't know 10 12 centimeters something like that uh, and then when we go back home we have to drop um, so it's up to go down to leave and uh, the sleuths that we went through uh, hopefully have put some text on the screen of uh, the sleuths that we was in if you just want to look on a map if you're interested um, normally uh, it's packed i mean people walk over each other's boats to hop off to go to the toilet because there's um there's like a pit stop there because it could be about 10 minutes like you sat in the sloops you know for it, the gates to close but also if you get in early it takes a while to load it and close the gates so you know there's a that you can stretch your legs you can go to the loo waffle waffle um but anyway going there and back it was really quiet and the other thing what I noticed is, and I don't know if my hairdresser might have mentioned something, but I didn't quite tweak what she was on about. I didn't see a lot of uh, rubber boats, which is like, you know, the inflatable ones, or the hard ones that a lot of the kids sail in. Didn't see a lot of them around. So I don't know if they've changed some kind of rule. I don't know. I must ask somebody in boats. I'm sure they will know. But anyway, so what we did, went through the sloops. And then we did, um, we just did a round. Lawrence did like a, a loop. And I think you would have seen that we sailed uh, right in front of the Rijks Museum. And do you know, in all the years of living here, I don't know why, it just didn't compute in my mind that there was a big canal uh, in front of the, um, the Rijks Museum. 
<laughs> I've probably walked over it several times in my life and never, and never twigged. That's the thing when you're in Amsterdam because there's so many bridges and you know you don't you don't. I, well, personally, I don't often pay attention to like there's water underneath me. So when you're sailing on the canals in Amsterdam, it's a completely different experience. Anyway, um, so that was nice. Lawrence said because at one point we were, I was trying to get my bearings from. Um, road market and then at some point I was I think we were near a place called um Skeen and I said to Lawrence I've driven here and they said yeah yeah then we drove and we sailed a bit longer and they said yeah do you know where we are now and I was like oh yeah we were in a place called Overtone so um anyway we did Lawrence saw it's not very good on the waterways in Amsterdam because we don't do it that often we've not done it for years um so Lawrence figured out we could do like a circle so um right so that was really fun and then coming back uh, we saw uh, uh, Josh's uh, friend's parents sell past us and then after that I uh, I put up because it got a bit nippy I uh, got a put a blanket on me and crashed out I wasn't like like dead to the world but I was you know um, I was definitely snoozy snoozy okay I stopped very very suddenly uh, because I was on autopilot and I actually missed not one but two exits. <laughs> uh, thank goodness for Google Maps. Um, oh, it's not telling me if the road's closed ahead. It's terrible. I've don't. I've never seen so many roadworks in one time in this country, and they like their roadworks. Anyway, waffle waffle. I don't know what on earth I was talking to you about before. I just sort of like panic did you see panic in my eyes um so yeah i think i was bragging about uh this was a much quicker way and actually um it i ended up it took the same time that it would have took me so anyway all's well that ends well just need to see if we can get into the road now because when i was here last week they closed the road and if they have closed it it's a bit of a mission to turn around oh gosh that's the other thing when there's all these roadworks it's you know nine times out of ten you have somebody in front of you who just sort of like slams their brake on or does a random u to it because they're also confused with the roadworks so uh just looking ahead i'm sure you i'm sure you're itching to know if the road's open i think it is okay phew Right, um, I'm almost by the office, or is it? I'm almost, I'm almost by my office, if I can get in. No, I think I can. Um, I will catch you either later today or, I don't know, at some point in the week. Uh, I finished work an hour and a half ago, I think now, yeah. Uh, and it's been really hot here. Uh, and it, But it was sunny and now it's um, very overcast and really humid i think i checked and it was 27 degrees um i came in we decided we're gonna have chicken korma for dinner but we're doing the cheaty one we're doing the patterks and coconut milk and some extras thrown in uh so i got up lawrence picked the heavy the like the dutch oven the cast iron pan up for me because yeah, with my neck and i was uh i got up to make dinner and he's doing it now he's busy doing it he's turning into a bit of a chef lawrence no comment no comment <laughs> um and then this evening no plans uh william's working don't know where josh is i'm going to hockey and lawrence is going to hockey all the football seasons are all beginning so um yeah life is getting back to normal i think william starts school next week as well uh so yeah Ooh. tomorrow i'm gonna go into work uh it's project day but then we've got like a team dinner in the um in the evening so it's gonna be a long day tomorrow um what else oh yeah i cleaned the pool actually i didn't clean it properly put um it was get it was going a bit green we've not used it for ages so put chlorine in it and then I've got a soft brush and I brushed it. Lawrence put the pump on for a while so it's looking okay now. 
all of it. Yeah, all of it, yeah. Coconut cream. And where is that garlic paste? I think it's, it's in, in the paper, fridge. It? Yeah. A little bit of garlic paste. In. Some salt. Maybe a bit of water in this. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I found the hospital. Not been good the last few days. A lot of pain in my neck. I'm not sure if it's something to do with uh, knitting, but I've knitted every night, but like literally a couple of rows, like just a small amount of knitting, but I've really yeah. suffered um, with like neck pain again. Not so much my shoulder, the back of my shoulder's hurting a bit, but the neck's bothering me. But worse than that, it's, I'm headachy. So anyway, I called the hospital to see you know what's going on and it's just as well on phone because they've made an appointment for me which I have no knowledge of uh, so when I come back from Ibiza I've got two appointments I've got a doctor's appointment to talk about how the first treatment went uh what are you looking for Get it uh, no you need the garlic puree it's in the fridge um just not talking get it you know you want to talk about how the first treatment went and then what else can be done and then I've got the appointment to get the tent fitted and yeah receive my tens machine but um the receptionist explained to her that I wasn't uh, feeling good and um she said she's going to speak to the doctor to see if they can sort of move um the appointments a bit earlier so we'll see I hope so because at the moment I'm taking um ibuprofen and uh, paracetamol and it's it's not even taking the edge of it and last night I had a horrible sleep so um yeah fingers crossed uh, I think that was all I had to update you on nothing ex nothing exciting let's see which way Google Maps sends me to work tomorrow that'll be interesting uh, I'm looking poor Daxter is roasting hot he's not happy doesn't know what to do with himself. It's just very hot and he looks a bit irritated. Um, oh, I'm going to show you these. Who remembers these in England? Sun lollies. When we were small in the 70s and 80s, you used to call them jubbly. They had them in. Was it the Lidl? Lawrence. Yeah. Lidl, yeah. We popped in the Lidl because they had, um, I think I might have told you they had like an Africa Day or an Africa Week promo. Oh, yeah. I need to do it. Get a piece of and uh, hold on. I feel like that much. How much more? Put a little bit more in. Sorry. <laughs> um, yes, so we found them in the Lidl. They had the Africa promo thing. Uh, it wasn't that special. Yeah, that's good. Just put a bit more water in. And uh, we're going to do this with rice. Put the rice, we'll see. Cook it for an hour or so. Powers. Oh, yours. Are you on now? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it now. On what? Uh, do it 180 on the fan assisted. Right. <laughs> I'll update you if anything interesting happens. Probably not. <laughs> Yesterday on the way to work, the camera mount fell off the windscreen. <laughs> Luckily, I sort of knew my way where I was going. Oh, Google Maps sent me one of those wild uh, mystery tours again. Anyway, um, it's 
really really overcast the sky is full of like these white gray rain clouds but there's absolutely no rain forecasted at all um as i said it's the sky's like that white gray which hurts my eyes so i've got my sunglasses on even though there's no trace of sun um i don't know what footage you would have seen because i've yet to edit this video but um last night was it in early evening i think about 5 30 ish or something or six o'clock it was still 30 degrees here my gosh it was like so hot and so humid um i can't remember if i said but we had a team dinner last night i think i might have mentioned it uh and then what we did i also don't know if i mentioned so i have a new manager and um i think he's been with us a you know, month or so now and um we had he, he had we had a team dinner last night but in the afternoon it was like team bonding you know that kind of thing uh he invited the whole team to his house and um you know he did all like drinks in the garden and stuff and then we went to a restaurant really close to where he lives and um I mean, it was a bit of a track because he it doesn't live local. But uh, I think half the team went. It was, you know, some people couldn't make it for whatever reason. Um, but anyway, and I don't mean this to sound disrespectful in any way, but he he lives in like a similar house to me. Uh, in England, they're called terraced houses. Is it like an end terrace? Which they're very common over here because obviously there's not that much uh, land. <laughs> but um. So, you know, it was a nice neighbourhood, nice house. And uh, he put a sign on the side gate, as I said, end terrace. And uh, my gosh, it was like the secret garden. He had this massive garden. And it was honestly, oh, sorry. Uh, I am um, nearly choked. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if there will be any footage because, yeah, you know, it was a work thing. But, um, he had all like these zones and then like this outdoor sort of chill room and we were, all of us were like gobsmacked because he'd said you know i think he'd said something like uh, a party in the jungle or something like that and everyone who arrived we all arrived separately was like my gosh we did. it was like we're in this tropical oasis seriously beautiful uh really really stunning garden and um he said that he had like a whole lighting system in there so after uh the restaurant we we went back we had left our laptops and stuff there and um he put all the lights on for us and again it was like wow gosh i wish um lawrence and i were like creative with our garden but alas not to be but um yeah it was lovely anyway it was very very kind of him to host us and you know he went to a lot of effort um you know there was all drinks and he'd done nibbles and stuff it's really nice uh, and then we walked to this really nice restaurant uh in the village that he lives in it's lovely food but uh, it was um we sat outside on the terrace uh, again you know just beautiful <laughs> it's like, i think maybe i would have inserted some footage but um i think he said today there was like this stock car thing going on in their village and so it was the, the night before and then all the uh all the people were driving past in you know old bangers and caravans that they're gonna smash up today so that's really we were sat there in this really nice you know lovely restaurant on this lovely terrace and then all these old bangers kept driving past honking the horns which was hilarious but um yeah um if you want to know i had their um, house hamburger which it was like on a brioche bun it was delicious <laughs> way too much and then i think you would have, i think you would have seen i had um creme brulee which was also very nice but uh, yeah anyway it was lovely uh and didn't get home too late i think it was around 10 ish or something so not too bad but yeah as you can imagine it was a long day but yeah very kind very very nice and uh I think the team, the team members that went all had a lovely evening. So, yeah, nice to do that now and again, isn't it? Um, anyway, um, I am off on the way. Sorry, there's something rattling around the back of the car. Um, I'm off to Amstelveen. I don't need the market, uh, although I probably will walk through it briefly. 
um, but I'm going to buy my toiletries uh, for Ibiza. Um, I'm not taking. Um, I'm not taking a big checking a suitcase in. I'm just taking a hand luggage, you know, wheelie in a wheelie case. So I need to travel light, but also there's a limit on liquids. I think. I think you can take um, uh, a litre, I think, and you can take like five times 100 mils. It can't be over 100 mil. Uh, so I've come up with a cunning plan. Um, Lush, there isn't a Lush where I'm going. Lush have these dry uh, shampoo bars and conditioner bars, and they're just like little bars of soap in a tin and um, you just sort of lather, lather them up on your head. Anyway, I used to have um, Lush um, shampoo bars years ago. Oops, sorry guys, I'll stop again. Uh, but I haven't got any anymore. But I saw a few weeks ago that Dylan and Camille have shampoo bars. So I thought, right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, instead of shower gel, I'm gonna take a bar of soap. Who'd have thought that? Uh, I'm going to take a shampoo bar and from Dylan and Camille. Hopefully, I don't know if they have conditioner bars. I'll see. I can always buy stuff there as well. I'm just it's more for the case, you know. Um, and then and I'm trying to find locate some minis, like a mini toothpaste and a mini sun cream. And if not, I've got these, um, you know, these plastic bottles that you can decant stuff into. They're from Primark. I think you know the ones I mean. Most of you will. Um, so yeah, so then I'm not sort of, ha I don't want to make a choice between, I don't know, my face cream and, you know, uh, a hair product. I'd rather just get everything dry and um, then I can take whatever I like. That would be nice. Uh, and I actually need to sit down and think what on earth I'm going to take with me uh, this weekend. Because we go early hours Wednesday morning and... Um, I'm working Monday, Tuesday, so I won't really have much time. Uh, tonight, tonight we're going to our old neighbours, uh, Rob and Amber, who I think they moved. They moved. They've been gone a year or two now, a couple of years, I think. They're only in the next village, um, but they're having like an end of summer um, drinks uh, garden party kind of thing, and it's this evening, so that'll be nice. Um, I mean, we've been, Lawrence helped them move. We've been to their new house a few times. They did like a massive renovation on it. They bought a really, really old house and they, you know, they extended and they built up and they've got, they've got, a, unusually again, a, a massive garden, like a big, big one, like a field kind of garden. Um, and they've built like outbuildings on it. And anyway, um, so yeah, it'd be nice because I haven't been since they finished the garden. I think they've got like a lawn and trees and everything now. So that's nice. And hopefully, there's no rain forecasted, so hopefully it's going to be a bit cooler. And I'll be caked in mosquito repellent because, oh gosh, I'm going to be out alive. Yesterday, uh, last night, I um, covered myself in like this gel mosquito uh, stick, um, like repellent, sorry. And um, oh, I got home and I've not got a bite on me, so I'm like, okay, I'm super happy about that. I'm taking one to a pizza, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing on Friday, or today's Friday, tonight. Uh, Saturday, we've not really made any plans. Um, I've, bought, I've already bought my groceries, that's coming tomorrow morning. Uh, and then Sunday, again, it's I think it's going to be about 20, a high of 23 degrees, which is pleasant. And, well, overcast. So I think Lawrence and I are actually going to sail. We're going to leave in the morning, about, about 11-ish. Yeah, about 11am, mid-morning. And we're going to sail uh, to Amsterdam. I'm going to sail around Amsterdam for the day. Also, I need to buy picnic stuff for us both. Because we really enjoyed it. I think in this vlog, you would have seen some footage of that. That we had a quick, a very quick, like a one-hour sort of pootle around Amsterdam. But yeah, we're going to go like really into the, you know, into the, the main canals kind of thing. That'll be fun. Uh, I'm just going into the uh, parking garage. It was quite busy. I think a lot of people are back from vacation now. Um, but anyway, what I was thinking, because I still have to edit this vlog that you're watching right now, um, it's going to be a bit tight for um, 
editing and filming so I think there won't be a vlog next Sunday because I'll only you know I'll only have a couple of days footage and most of that will be you know driving to work and back uh, but although we will go to Amsterdam as I said so I think don't don't expect sorry it's a bit noisy don't expect a vlog ne next Sunday and then if I do manage to put something together if I've got enough time then it'll be a surprise but yeah so just you know if you sort of wondering where I am don't panic I'm okay I think I hope uh, I'm just in Ibiza for having a great time hopefully so yeah that's I thought let me just um because I've been milling it over like oh yeah how am I going to manage that it's like yeah I'm not actually going to manage it so oh sorry I hope the lighting's okay obviously I'm underground now uh yeah so let's not put pressure on myself to sort of get a rubbish vlog out and um, hopefully I'll be back the week after with a nice vlog. I really want to film some nice things in Ibiza. Uh, that'll be fun. Um, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sign off here. Uh, I'll do, I'll do a little shopping haul when I get home and show you if I've bought something. And um, I'm gonna concentrate now and find a, find a parking space. It's really busy. It's bizarre. Okay, catch you in a while. It is so humid. It's oh, I'm just sticky. Oh, I'm gonna rustle. Sorry, I've got. I've just quickly show you. It's not exciting. exciting. Um, this is the shampoo bar that I was talking about from uh, Dylan Camille. Actually, that's quite nice. It's nice for drunk journaling. That paper. I'll keep that. Uh, they didn't have the tins, so we're gonna see if it fits in my lush tin. And if not, it's only. For, it's, I'll probably use it once when I'm there. So I bought the blue one, uh, which doesn't smell particularly nice, but the blue is, I use a blue shampoo anyway, because it counteracts um, orange and green, and you know, so, so I've only bought it to sort of save on the liquids, but they, they had a load of, they were selling minis in the Atos, which is boots, and it was buy two, get one free, and there was only two things that I needed, so I ended up like, well, I'm gonna get the food. So I bought a little tiny head and shoulders. And if I don't, if I, if, if I get my, if I calculate my liquids right, I might take this, but if not, we'll use it because we use this brand anyway at home, the boys like that. Uh, and then I bought a tiny little conditioner and uh, a dinky little toothpaste, is that the right way? So uh, that was, oh, and then I bought, it's the, the ATOS own brand, uh, a little mini sun cream. Actually, I didn't smell it. Mmm, it smells nice. Yeah, it smells nice. So that will do me. I've already got quite a good cover on me, so I won't burn. Uh, and then I bought, uh, yeah, a couple of bars of soap. It was a double pack because I need soap uh, for the bathroom upstairs, like it's a hand soap, so Dove. Super nice. And then I quickly popped my H&M. Uh, I just uh, I wanted a little plain vest. It's like uh, ribbed. So I've got an XL one for $6.99. So it's all right to throw on, you know, with a pair of shorts. And it's nice, it's not too cropped. So yeah, I'm home now. Um, I think, um, if you remember, I bought that really nice dress 
for uh, the you know, big long silky max dress. It needs taking up only a couple of centimetres but I think I'm going to do that this afternoon although I do not feel like doing anything in this sweltering heat but I think I'll do that this afternoon because I did buy it to take away with me so um and then for the rest I think I said we're already going out tonight to rub an umber right at this point I think I will wrap up the weekly vlog because I still have to edit you <laughs> um and if you are new and you enjoyed spending a bit of time with me uh, and you haven't done so already may you haven't done so already maybe you want to consider hitting the subscribe button and join in our community don't forget if you hit the bell every time there's a new video uploaded you'll be notified and and if you want to catch up on sort of dawn of the past uh on somewhere on your screen you'll see uh, a tab there'll there'll be like this uh channel about community there'll be one called playlist and if you click on that uh, you'll see every vlog I've ever ever done and then there's also other playlists in there of other things that I've um, been up to I don't know I think there's some tutorials and things like that there uh, and if you're one of the OGs thanks again for joining me thanks for all your support uh, stay safe have a good week and I will see you in the next vlog which will probably be in two weeks time bye